Hey there, all you loyal bad ad subscribers. We're in between editing the next video, so I wanted to take a minute to answer some of the questions that we get in the comments. So let's just dive in. Soccer Skills 97 raises a very interesting point. How is it that we always get pretty girls to respond to these ads? Well, don't forget about all the pretty guys out there. I remember a certain workout specialist, he was just... Uh, never mind, he's gone through enough. So how do we always get pretty girls to respond? I don't really know. I think we get lucky a lot of times. It also helps that we are right in Hollywood, West Hollywood area, which probably does have a pretty high per capita hot girl ratio compared to maybe some other places in the States. All right, we have a question here from a DJ Fins. Now he's asking, how much do we spend on props, all that kind of stuff? I personally don't spend any money because Bad Ads is sponsored and produced by jukinvideo.com, so they're gracious enough to give us uh, some money to do things that we need. We keep the costs pretty low. The most extravagant thing we probably did was those Coachella tickets. And as far as the equipment, sound equipment, cameras, that kind of stuff, again, they have those resources. So they provide that, and I get to just around. You may have noticed that we like to use some recurring characters from time to time, so some of you have asked, you know, which ones are your favorite to do, where do these come from. For me, I really like the character of Drip, the music producer. We're really trying to find a way to bring him back. Also, we have a new video coming out that's going to feature a character, Bryce Manhattan, and he is really just an exceptional brand of douchebag that I think everyone's really going to take a shine to, because I know I have. From time to time, you have seen a lovely brunette whose name is Ashley. She helps me out sometimes. I think she's really funny. She's very talented. She is not my girlfriend, even though we love to pretend that in videos. Recently, we used a young lady named Whitney, who's also just unbelievably funny. Again, not my girlfriend, so you know what guys, go for it. I think they're both single. One recurring comment post that we often see is, do we always give them something? We almost always do. It depends on what the ad is for. You know, we don't want to waste anybody's time and not give them anything. For those situations where we're not selling them something, offering them a direct service that we can compensate for, we will always give the person a little bit of cash just to say, thanks for hanging out with us. We recently filmed an episode that featured a magnificent piece of art, this one right here, titled Whitney's Ass. Now what we'd like to do with this, just for a little fun, see what happens, we're gonna go ahead and put that up on eBay. We're gonna start the bidding at 25 cents. Whoever wins that, we're gonna take the money and donate that to a charity of your choice, unless it's like 50 cents, in which case I'm probably gonna use that to get some laundry done. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope we answered some of your questions. And thank you always for subscribing and supporting Bad Ads. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Bad Ads from Chris. We'd like to include all sorts of fun stuff for you. And let me hold it up again. Whitney's ass. Yeah, it's a special piece. The perfect addition to any art collection. You know you want it. Check on the link below. There's gonna be something in the comments to follow it to eBay. Bid on it, win it. We donate the money to charity the charity of your choice. And thank you for watching.